All right, so I've received a lot of uh, private messages regarding cryptocurrencies. And the last video I made, I was explaining that I got out, uh, I think Ethereum was around $4,000 or something like that. And um, some people were mad that I didn't tell them, but again, I didn't want to be a signaling service. It's not what I'm, what I'm about. So now I'm going to explain to you uh, why I don't own any crypto right now. And and I may be wrong, but the rationale behind it is that I think we are too late in the cycle for me to be interested. What cycle might you ask? In the halving cycle. So you see, several years ago, I, um, I wouldn't call it a business, but I, I started uh, mining Ethereum um, with a bunch of uh, GPUs that I bought. And uh, I've been following quite uh, closely the uh, the behavior of these little things and I've, I'm still mining. There's a machine right next to me that's mining right now and I have quite a few others. And basically what I'm trying to say is that there are huge cycles where, for instance, here in 2013 or so, there was a huge pump and then there was an 87% drop. And then fast forward to 2017, and this is when uh, really crypto got a lot of attention from a lot of people, um, including yours truly. And uh, and then there was a, a big uh, dump over here of 84%. And uh, you see the green line over here is the Bitcoin halving. So the halving is at which point the... Um, uh, the algorithm starts to uh, increase uh, the um, the difficulty of the mining. And what this does is that it drives the price up because now miners, in order to be able to break even, they need to bring the price up. So inside of the mechanics of uh, the Bitcoin algorithm, uh, there is uh, an incentive to increase the price uh, over time. So the last time it uh, happened again was here in uh, May uh, of uh, 2020. And you see that uh, a few months later, the uh, the pump started. Uh, and now we've been in the uh, down cycle. So when am I buying? Right now, what I'm seeing is that this type of consolidation, by the way, I'm going to go on a log file here. L what, what do I say file? Log chart. And... Um, you see, you see clearly here the uh, the patterns that emerge. So you got the halving, you got a big pump, pump, and then you've got the retracement, some sideways movement, accumulation, and then uh, it starts to go up. So there is an opportunity to uh, go long a little bit later than the uh, if the past is any indication of the future, which often um, it's not exactly, but it rhymes, as uh, someone famous said. Uh, so you see here, uh, this zone here was an opportunity to start buying, but really it broke out of the resistances around here. So you see from green line to green line, it was close to the uh, halving where activity started to uh, come again. So when am I going to look at it? Well, for this, we need to look at the schedule and the schedule is on March 16, 2024. So uh, it is possible that it's going to pick up from here and go to 150K and stuff like that. But if I had $10 for each time I heard that, um, I wouldn't have to be trading or investing anymore. So from what I'm seeing, if the market, if the, the stock market tanks, uh, I think the crypto market is going to follow and follow even worse. And then uh, money is going to move around to uh, other areas. So I'll talk about that another time. So what I think might happen here is that if the stock market uh, drops, I think we're going to have an, a very aggressive drop in, uh, in crypto as well. And March 16, 2024. So March around here so that that's the next uh, bitcoin halving and the point at which i would uh, start really looking at it would be around here so 
so that's around when in 2023 is when I'm going to really start to be interested again uh, into it. And I think that when trading these assets, first of all, there's huge regulation risk uh, for this type of stuff. Uh, at any moment, uh, the government could make this illegal if you wanted to. Uh, doesn't mean it's going to kill the project completely, but it's still going to make it hard for people to... Um, uh, for the project to make uh, adoption and have people being interested in you know most people that i talk to they don't even know how it works they don't even know how to buy uh bitcoin like it's it's still and we're years like i started being interested in that years and years ago and and i'm fascinated at how many people don't have a clue how bitcoin works like what's the why does it exist and why um what is it for and things like that so and as far as the um uh, as the altcoins are concerned um i think it's the greatest money pit that there is i i'm not saying none of them uh, will survive but i think the vast majority of them are just promises on hype and white papers and and I've completely disconnected myself from that. The only things that I follow are Bitcoin and Ethereum. Ethereum because I mine it, but the only money that I would put in at this point is into Bitcoin because I've lost so much money on altcoins and the next Bitcoin killer and the next Ethereum killer and it's so much faster. This one is going to kill it, blah, blah, blah. Nothing happens. The, the devs um, disappear and things like that. So I don't... Um, I don't invest in altcoins at all uh, and you know the whole you can make money in that kind of situation i think uh if you're at the bottom of the um of the wave and you start uh following the hype and you're really into it uh but you gotta know when to cash out and it and and you can't get married to a project thinking that yeah yeah this is the bitcoin killer because so far all the promises of having a bitcoin killer Bitcoin is still the king. Uh, I don't know how many years it is now uh, since 2012. So it's been over 10 years. So uh, so that's it. That's my take on it. I will wait until approximately uh, the beginning of 2023. And then I'll start to look at the charts. And, and you have plenty of time to make some money on it. You know, uh, if you look at... Uh, the last time that I uh, bought, I had it uh, over here. So you see, Bitcoin was trading at 386, Ethereum, I mean, was trading at $386 US. So there was plenty of time to find these type of accumulation and a small breakout. And, um, and then from there, it did a retracement and exploded to 4400 so that's a 10x on your investment and you don't need to have that many of those in order to make a million dollars you know it's it, you need three actually three 10 baggers and and with um uh with a thousand dollars and uh, and you're a millionaire so so i'm not not i'm not saying that you should do this but but I think that there are so many opportunities to 10x your money outside of crypto uh, uh, with with stocks and, and there's all kinds of opportunity all the time. So I think that uh, for now, the best thing for me anyways is to stay on the sideline. Same thing for stocks because right now inflation is kicking in, so cash is trash. But it's still better to lose 5% uh, of your money, of your cash over a year um, because of inflation than it is to lose 20-something uh, uh, percent in the stock market or 70-90% uh, in crypto, you know? So yes, there is easy money, but there's always a flip to that coin. And that's what I think uh, my message is, is for these plays to make money, I need to wait for people to be desperate. I need right now, like I stopped receiving Bitcoin messages. So that's a good sign. But the, but at the end of this winter, I was going to, I was uh, skiing and the guys at the ski shop starting to say, Oh, I was thinking about you, you know, uh, 
yeah i just bought some bitcoin and i was like oh you just did now like at the very top you know that's it's not the uh the moment and it's it's kind of in um uh, uh, I forget in what book I read that, but you know, in the old days, I think it was Edwin Lefebvre's uh, book, like the, like the shoe shiner. When the shoe shiner starts to give you tips, then you know you gotta sell, you know. So it's a bit the same thing for me when everybody's so excited about Tesla and and all these um, these tech stocks going to the moon. Uh, it, it was a sign for me that I needed to cash out, uh, not all of my money, because I think. Uh, you need to have a part of your money that's invested and in case you're wrong uh, as a nest egg but as far as the uh, speculation goes um i i chose just to be on the sideline right now because there's too much uncertainty in the market and when i feel that people are very discouraged and they can't take it anymore that's when i'm gonna be on this uh, i'm gonna be coming in from the sideline uh with uh, some fresh money so that's my take on uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. I think that um, uh, for me, it's a good time to wait and uh, and I'll accumulate when it starts to go at the bottom and, and I'll sell it to people that are uh, um, that are late to the party in the next uh, in the next cycle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Maybe take care, guys.